Well, that was fast. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And yesterday we reported that Birds of Prey was censored on HBO Max. They right. put the broadcast version up. Uh, they cut some scenes, they blurred out some shirts, they bleeped out some language. And uh, people are like, what the hell is going on? But now HBO is saying, whoopsie doopsie. It was mistakenly added. Which, to be fair, we said it could be a mistake. It you know, be. it could have been that they accidentally put the, the was it TNT version? Yeah, yeah. Up on, on the streaming service. Because uh, that's something that made sense to us. Because it was really stupid otherwise. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of dumb. Because HBO, you know, they're known for tits and blood. And mm -hmm. It makes no sense and... they, they edited this one. Because they're making you, and then, like, if you want to see the whole thing, go pay for it. That made no sense. So we're going to talk about the update because mm -hmm. we do tend to update things because I, I know what's going to happen. People are going to look at our older video and go like, that's not true. I just watched the R-rated version today, ah, like six months yeah. from now, and be like, clownfish lied again. <laughs> and then we laugh at them and then keep going. Yeah, so we already made our money. We don't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture new news, views, and rants, uh -huh. guys. Just one new. We don't one have news. It's just new one new. News. <laughs> the newy news. The newy news. Uh, we do talk about pop culture. We have been uh, talking about Birds of Prey, kind of. Haven't talked that much since the uh, Birds of Prey versus Sonic debacle. Mm -hmm. But there was some news on the Birds of Prey front. And no, it's not a sequel. That's probably never going to happen. No, oh, there's a spinoff, though, they said it might happen. There's a spinoff. And there are also there, there are rumors that they might do another Snyderverse movie. Oh, is there? Yeah, they're talking he might do Final Crisis. Uh, I saw one. people that he was trending on Twitter yesterday, but I didn't stop to look because I didn't have time. It's Twitter and you didn't. Well, I didn't have time. Yeah, you've been very busy. I've been very, very busy. I'm trying. Uh, very busy with the holidays and everything. And yeah, it's it's chaos. But uh, yeah, so there's rumors that they might continue the Snyderverse. Uh, big, big rumor. We don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But uh, birds Back to of, this. Back to Birds of Prey. So Birds of Prey, people were sort of like, we don't understand why you've got the PG-13 version of Birds of Prey on HBO Max. And it seems like it was a uh, a whoopsie doopsie. Wait, well, tinfoil hat theory here for a moment. Was it a whoopsie doopsie or was it a, no one's talking about Birds of Prey. We went on the Birds of Prey movie and they're talking about Zack Snyder. So oopsie doopsie, this just accidentally got posted and caused a lot of talk about Birds of Prey again. Birds of Prey was trending on Twitter this morning. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I'm just saying. I, I honestly am more inclined to believe it was an oopsie doopsie for real. But you know, you could argue that that's weird, timing yeah. wise. But I do think it was just that somebody put the wrong cut up. Yeah. Update. Update. They're not sure when it's going to come back though. But uh, HBO Max addresses Birds of Prey censorship. But wait, they're not sure when it's going to come back. No, it's coming back eventually. Uh, okay. HBO Max is aware that the edited version of DC's Birds of Prey is streaming on the platform, though it's unsure when the R-rated cut will be restored after it's done trending on Twitter. And then it can uh -huh. trend again because, oh, oh my God. Look, update. In addition to HBO, at, uh, you know, at HBO Max's help post, Warner Media Exec has confirmed that it was put on error and There's the an R-rated cut will be destroyed at some point. So, you know, if it was an error, how hard is it to switch that out? It's a file. That doesn't make any sense. Why would it be so hard to change it? You know, I'm like, was there, was there like more oopsie doopsies than we're aware of? Because it's literally something you can change. Or was there like a, we're trying to get people to buy the, the Birds of Prey movie on Black Friday special or something. And then like a few days when their sale is up, oh, it'll suddenly be restored. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Why can't they not fix it like right now? Well, here's the, here's the tweet. Uh, Joanna Fuentes. Mm -hmm. Um uh, we have a version of the film that airs on broadcast cable right. and the unedited version of the film for streaming, which has been up for a year, which the original post on CBR noted. We will will be updated on Max. Scott Mendelson. See, they, they actually answer Scott Mendelson because mm -hmm. he has a blue check. Will both versions be available on the platform? Just the original unedited version. So they're only going to put the R-rated version going forward whenever, whenever they get around to actually replacing it. I just it. don't, this is, I mean. I don't buy it either. I'm just like, wait, why can't you just fix it right now? It doesn't make any sense it to should not be fix hard, it. Because this isn't like Netflix where the studios are actually sending their content to somebody at Netflix to replace it. Like they did with uh, Back to the Future Part mm -hmm. 2. This is like, you are you are HBO. You literally take a file and replace another file with this file. I just It's just weird. I don't know. I mean, it's You'd just weird. I think it'd be an easy fix. Yeah. So it's unclear when the original R-rated version will... 
Oh, God, I hate this title. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn will be added to HBO Max, though the streaming platform is aware of it. But they said, um, yeah, because it said it was it left on November 14th. Yeah. But then they're saying it wasn't supposed to. But then that means that it's been like almost two weeks now that it's been gone. Uh, you know what I mean? There's a lot of weirdness here. Yep, HBO Max says it will repost the older version to maintain consistency, according to comicbook.com. For a day on social media, though, the conversation around the movie exploded. Screenshots of Birds of Prey were popping up with increased frequency. I know it was mm -hmm. trending this morning, giving viewers an interesting look at what has to be changed again, R-rated movie uh, on the network television. And again, this this does come uh, around the same time as, as talk of more Snyderverse. I'm I mean, it, I just, you know, it was weird because you mentioned that that was what was going on. And then this and me just listening to you saying that just now, I was like, but that's weird. Like, you know, no one wanted Birds of Prey. They wanted Snyderverse and they were really salty and pissed about that. Now all of a sudden this happens and then it's trending again. It, I mean, it's just a little bit weird. Yeah, look at look at what's trending on comicbook.com. Birds of Prey, Birds of Prey being censored. It was all over Twitter. Uh-huh. I, I, I mean, uh -huh. I have no idea. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened, apparently people bitching about it got it fixed. Um, I, I don't disagree with them because I'm like, that, that sucks. Why would you want to watch HBO Max to watch the TNT version of Birds of Prey? Why would you? Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, you know, to, to go back to our point yesterday, always buy physical media. Birds of Prey can be bought pretty cheap now. But, you know, to be fair, they said they were only going to put the, uh, the original cut back up. Mm. Well, I'd, I'd put them both back up because then there's a version that kids can watch. Yeah, I mean, that, that, was, that was one of the biggest uh, issues with, with Birds of Prey. You, you have a Harley Quinn movie and you market Harley Quinn to tweens and young teens and you release an R-rated movie. I mean, why not do a Deadpool type cut? Yeah, you know? well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they did it with Deadpool before and people were like, well, you shouldn't have to change it to appease kids, parents should watch their kids, which I don't, you know, I see both sides of it. But I'm saying since it's already done, like they already did it for TNT. It wasn't like they, they're making an extra cut that's gonna be more work for them. It's already done. So at that point, just put them both on. I'm just thinking, you know, just imagine if they did like an R-rated Barney movie back in the day. They have Is that a smoochie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally right. that. Well, they also had a dinosaur named BJ, if I remember correctly. That could have gone wrong. Was it? Was it? Was it BJ? It was BJ. I don't remember. The Triceratops. Remember was baby? Was it Baby Bop? Baby Bop. God, I don't even remember. Another reason our kids were too young for Barney. We were too old for Barney. The other reason I remember this is because we had some DVDs that were like you know from ten years prior when our oh, kids yeah. were little. Yeah. And, or, bin, yeah, they were like dollar <laughs> bin things. And that's the only reason I know any of it, because I swore I'd never watch Barney and that changed. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to wrap this up. Please do. Yeah, if we, we're talking about Barney. We've completely run out of things to say. So there's your update. There's your update, It's guys. like kind of a non-update. They're, 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 they're aware, aware of, it. of it. And we don't know when we're going to push the gonna, button to fix it. And we're going to fix it. All Someday. Right. Sometime. Someday. Maybe. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.